There are few graves in this remote prairie of Ross, a small city in North Dakota. There are some Muslim and some non-Muslim names on the gravestones. As you can see, my dad was born in 1889, and his name, Albert, was Abdullah. He came over to this country, a lot of them changed their names. Richard Omar, a retired electrician who is not a Muslim himself, comes here to take care of the graves of his Muslim parents. He also wants to help preserve an important chapter of Muslim history in the United States. This mosque, standing alone in these fields, was founded in 1928, making it one of America's first mosques. Inside the small structure, there is a prayer rug, and there are photographs of people who helped found the mosque. It's, well, there's really nobody left here to talk to. Many of the Muslim residents moved to bigger cities. Some changed their names and even their religion. The history is that the people came out here, they wanted to start a new life. Ross City Auditor Diane Siebel says the overall population has dwindled after a decline in the agriculture and oil industries. She says there are no known Muslims left, but memories of the mosque endure. We used to play in it all the time, and uh, but it got to the point where it just started uh, getting too dilapidated and was dangerous. The mosque collapsed in the 1970s, but was rebuilt in 2004, with hopes to keep its history alive. And in 2018, the adjacent cemetery was added to the National Register of Historic Places as a symbol of religious history in the United States. It has now become an attraction for visitors. This is the place where Islam was originated in America. First masjid came in this place. For non-Muslims like Richard Omar, this mosque and the cemetery are a historic part of his family and America. We don't want people to forget about it. For Sakibul Islam in Ross, North Dakota, Bejan Hamdard, VOA News.